Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Hope all is well. Good Yom Tiv. Today is a very, very holy day. It is the day of Yud Shvat. There are two main events that took place on this holy, holy day. Today is the Yom of the Histalkus, the day where the of the physical passing of the Friedrich Rebbe. And we know that a tzaddik, after his passing, is here even more than before, and he's more revealed even than before. And another tremendous event, the main event as well of today, is that a, exactly a year later, the son-in-law of the Friedrich Rebbe, who we call the Rebbe, became Rebbe. So we know that every year, the days of the year have a very profound power. And every single year, since the year, the year, the Shana is a cycle, and every year the same date reoccurs. That re that power that happened on that year is re-revealed again this year, and even more so every year there's a greater light that is now revealed. What is so important about this holy, holy day is that we learn that in the days of Mashiach, a new dimension of the Torah will be revealed. A new Torah will come forth from Zion. And it's not that chas v'shalom, a new Torah will come. Or not chas v'shalom, a, a different Torah will come, so to speak. But rather, a new dimension of the Torah that was previously hidden will now be revealed. And this is exactly what the Friedek Rebbe and the Rebbe have revealed to the world. Because what is this new dimension of Torah? This is the dimension of Hasidus and Kabbalah. Kabbalah was revealed, the main Kabbalistic book was revealed, the Zohar was revealed by Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai about 2,000 years ago. But it was been, it's been explained deeper and deeper because it's such deep text that it requires explanation. We know the Arizal about... 500 years ago revealed deeper secrets and explanations of the Zohar. And then later on, there was the revelation of Hasidus. What is Hasidus and what's the difference between Hasidus and Kabbalah? Kabbalah is a very, very powerful light. However, some people are incapable of receiving this light. Hasidus takes the deepest parts of the light and takes them and allows them to be accessible to everyone at all levels. So that even the most simple of all Jews can grasp the deepest secrets of the, entire, of the Torah. Because the Baal Shem Tov taught us that it doesn't matter how educated somebody is, doesn't matter how important somebody seems. In Hashem's eyes, we're all equal. And in fact, Hashem derives as much pleasure from the simple Jew who's just serving him out of their simplicity as the greatest tzaddik learning the deepest secrets. So, Hasidus allows each and every one of us to connect to our source and in a revealed way because we know that all of the Torah is one and every part of the Torah is holy. That is why we can never underestimate even a tiny mitzvah because in Hashem's eyes, these are all His ratzon, His desire, and we can't measure Hashem's desire. It is beyond infinite. And also, so, so, so when we learn Hasidus, we learn Kabbalah, the innermost secrets of the Torah, it allows a, a very bright light to shine on all other aspects of the Torah. So, what, how does this relate to Yud Shfat? This relates to Yud Shfat because Chabad, the, the Rebbeim of Chabad, took the Hasidus of the Baal Shem Tov and even took it down a level to the point where it can be grasped even deeper for even more people. Because something very interesting is that when the Maggid of Mezrich, who was the Rebbe after the Baal Shem Tov, who was the top student of the Baal Shem Tov, when he would teach Hasidus, it was so deep that the people learning his Hasidus, listening to him speak Hasidus, would pass out on the spot. They would faint because it was such intense revelations. So the Alter Rebbe took that, who was the Alter Rebbe, who was the first Rebbe of Chabad, and he's the top student of the Maggid of Mezrich. He took those deep secrets of Hasidus and it brought them into an even more accessible teaching so that even more people can grasp it and stay awake and take it into Hit Yashvut, into internalization. So, the Friedek Rebbe began the campaign of sending out Shluchim. Now you see there's Chabad houses all over the place. This was started by the Friedek Rebbe, who began to send out emissaries, send out people, rabbis, to save the lives of the Jewish people and the righteous Gentiles around them, to allow them to have a relationship with Hashem. And then, 
on the same day that the, the Holy Holy Friedrich Rebbe, his body left us, his body became, you know, we don't see his body, so to speak, the Friedrich Rebbe. We know a tzaddik is alive. We know that even after a tzaddik passes, he is a, he's alive. And a rasha, a wicked person, even when he's alive, he's really dead. So we know for sure the Friedrich Rebbe is, an, is, is, is the tzaddik of his generation. We know the Friedrich Rebbe is with us. But the day that he physically departed from, from this world was is on Yushvat. And then the day that his successor, his son-in-law, the Rebbe, accepted leadership was on that very day. So we know that there is two intense revelations combining for an even greater revelation. Plus, we are in the new year, so it's this this huge shvat is even more powerful than any before. So we know that around us, we're, there's tremendous revelations. There's a tremendous divine light in the world right now. But we have to do our part to grab it. So we know the Rebbe took the Friedrich Rebbe's mission even into even more Hityashvut. He allowed this divine light to come even more into the world. The, free, the Rebbe took, um, took the, the shluchus, took the, 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 the mission of sending out shluchim to an even more intense numbers. The Rebbe is the seventh generation, and we know that kol shvi'in chavivin, all seventh are beloved, and that Shvi'i, seven, is related to Shabbos, related to Malchus. We know the Rebbe is the seventh Rebbe. And he he, he, bring, he br brought this light into the world to an even deeper level than even the Rebbeim before him. Why? Because all the other Rebbeim before him are included within him. And we know that our generation especially has been so impacted by the Rebbe. If you think about what happened right before the Rebbe became Rebbe, it, it explains it all. Why Hashem chose to, 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 to reveal the Rebbe to this world why, when He did. Because, because after the Holocaust, the Jewish people were, were broken. And who did Hashem choose to, 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 to fix, to repair them, to, to, to perform surgery on the Jewish people? He sent the Rebbe. We know that we all have the Rebbe within us. So we have to access it. The Rebbe gave us chassidus. He gave us orders on how to connect to Hashem. People ask the question, why do we need a Rebbe? Why do we need a Tzaddik? Why do we need a Moses, a Moshe Rabbeinu? Why can't we just connect to Hashem directly? And the answer is the Rebbe teaches us how to connect to Hashem. It's not that we need to connect to either the Rebbe or Hashem. No, it's the Rebbe that shows us how we can actually connect to Hashem. It's the Rebbe who shows us how great we are. Hashem reveals Himself to the world through the Tzaddik. Hashem teaches us through the Tzaddik. Why? Because Hashem made it so that in this world we have to teach Torah to each other. Unless we're like experiencing Kalos and Nefesh, like at Mount Sinai, then we're in a body. We're in a Meaning, on Mount Sinai Hashem revealed Himself to the entire nation. And everyone experienced such an intense revelation that their souls left their body. They died, and Hashem had to put them back in their bodies, their souls back in their body, because the, the divine revelation was too intense for them. Except Moses. Moses was able to handle it. So then the people said, no, Moses, you teach us. You tell us. It's too intense for us when Hashem tells us directly. So of course we can all have a relationship with Hashem. But not all of us are able to handle a full-on revelation of Hashem at all times. We have to experience little bits and little little tastes of it in order to absorb it. It's like when you... If you want to, you know, fill up a shot glass, but you you spray like a hose in it, it'll overflow. You have to pour slowly from the cup into the shot glass. So too, with divine revelation, not all of us can handle so much godly godly light. It'll be too much for us. It'll scare us. It'll overwhelm us. It'll could even, God forbid, kill a person, like what happened at Mount Sinai, or even the stories of uh, Aaron's sons, uh, Nadav and Avihu, uh, where where what happened was they, they walked into the Holy of Holies and they passed away. It was too intense for them. So we all need a Moses to teach us how we can connect to Hashem at a higher level. Because Moshe can handle a much greater revelation of God and he won't he won't die from it. In fact, he can be normal. That's just part of his everyday life. So too, the Reb is the Moshe of this generation and he could teach us through learning his teachings, we can also reach the full-on level of godly revelation that he that he reached. After 40 years, it says, after 40 years, the students reach the level of, 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 their, of their master.
So we all have to grab the opportunity of this holy, holy day, the day where the Frida Grebe, the, the Yom Hilula of the Frida Grebe, and the anniversary of the acceptance of the leadership of the Rebbe, because today is a tremendous divine light that is being um, presented to the world, and we have to do our part to grab it. Even though there's a tremendous divine light that automatically is blessing us all, when we choose to, to involve ourselves with it as well, it, it takes it to much greater levels. So may Hashem bless you all. Be the Friedrich Rebbe, the Rebbe, may we experience the coming of Mashiach immediately. May we greet Mashiach. The Rebbe always said, we're in the last generation of exile, the first generation of Mashiach. The Rebbe, who's a, who's a tzaddik, and every word he says is truth, said this over 30 years ago. So if the Rebbe said we're in the last generation over 30 years ago, how much more today are we in the, uh, how, how much closer are we today to the coming of Mashiach? So we have to grab this opportunity and, uh, and we have to pray to Hashem. There's, there's a, it's an et ratzon. It's a time of opportunity. We have to pray to Hashem. Increase in our prayers. Pray a little bit longer than usual. Learn a little bit extra than we normally do. Give a little bit more to tzedakah. And with this, may we experience, and may merit the coming Mashiach immediately, where we'll experience even greater secrets of Hasidus, even greater Torah secrets, even greater secrets of Kabbalah in the times of Mashiach, where it says, where it says that one single moment will be greater than all the pleasure felt of all time. May we surely experience this today. May Hashem bless you all. Thank you.